Hello everyone, today we will discuss about sarcotubular system. Now, what is sarcotubular system? It is highly specialized system of internal conduction of the depolarization inside the muscle fiber. It is made up of transverse tubule that is T tubule and longitudinal sarcoplasmic reticulum. T system or transverse tubular system. T tubules they are inwardly directed extension of the sarcolemma into the muscle fiber and they are present at the junction between A and I band and therefore each sarcomere has two T tubules. You can see here these are the T tubules in the diagram you can see this yellow color one these are the T tubules. Now Invigilation of the sarcolemma that is present at AI junction and it carries action potential into the interior of the muscle fiber. Now, this action potential is rapidly conducted along the sarcolemma over the surface of the muscle fiber and then into the interior of the muscle cell by these T tubules. And therefore, deep lying myofibrils are also activated. You can see here in the diagram, action potential is transmitted. These T tubules they are open to the exterior and therefore they contain extracellular fluid. Membrane of the T tubules they contain voltage gated calcium channels and they are known as dihydropyridine receptors. You can see here in the diagram, these are dihydropyridine receptors. This one. These receptors they act as voltage sensor and they release calcium ions. They are known as dihydropyridine receptors because they are blocked by the drug dihydropyridine. Next structure that is longitudinal sarcoplasmic reticulum. Sarcoplasmic reticulum of the skeletal muscle corresponds to the endoplasmic reticulum of other cells and they are located longitudinally on either side of the tubular system in form of vesicles or sac of dilated longitudinal sarcoplasmic reticulum. This longitudinal sarcoplasmic tubules they are dilated on either sides of the T tubules. You can see here in the diagram this part and they are known as terminal cistern and they are rich in the glycogen and calcium ions and this cistern may also lie in close contact with the T tubules and present at AI junction. Now you can see here in this diagram also this one. This is T tubule and this is terminal cistern and they are present at the junction of A band and I band here. And there are two AI junction you can see here in sarcomere. Therefore, in skeletal muscle each sarcomere contains two T tubules and two sarcotubular systems. Now, this L tubules they store a large quantity of calcium ions and when action potential reaches terminal cistern, these calcium ions are released into the sarcoplasm through calcium channels. They release calcium ions and thus they help in the muscle contraction and muscle metabolism also. Now, these calcium channels they are located in the longitudinal sarcoplasmic reticulum. They are not voltage gated and they allow release of calcium ions into the cell. They are known as rhinodine receptors as they are kept open by plant alkaloid rhinodine. This rhinodine receptors they are also known as calcium release channel. You can see here in the diagram these are rhinodine receptors. There is close proximity of terminal cistern or L tubules and T tubules. This T tubules with two terminal cistern they form a triad. Now, in skeletal muscle, there are two triads per sarcomere. As we have discussed, in skeletal muscle, this triad is present at AI junction. You can see here in the diagram. You can see this is AI junction. So, in skeletal muscle, this triad is present here. So, each sarcomere contains two triads. Whereas, in the cardiac muscle, this triad is present at Z line. This is the Z line. And therefore, each sarcomere contains one triad. And therefore, skeletal muscle is most excitable tissue. Now, functions of sarcotubular system. Sarcotubular system play an important role in the muscle contraction as it links excitation, that is, transmission of action potential, which is through T tubules, 
and contraction that is release of calcium ions that is from the sarcoplasmic reticulum which activates contractile process it also play an important role in the relaxation process by reuptake of the calcium ions you can see here what is the mechanism of calcium reuptake sarcoplasmic reticulum contains sarca here you can see s e r c a that is sarcoplasmic endoplasmic reticulum calcium atps now this is calcium atps that is an example of primary active transport so this atps pumps calcium ions from sarcoplasm into the sarcoplasmic reticulum calcium ions bind with a calcium binding protein which is known as calcestrin that is present inside the terminal cistern and it is stored there so this is all about sarcotubular system now let us discuss some mcqs as well as short question first sarcotubular system options are a exist in kidney b comprises of proximal and distal convoluted tubules c made up of t tubules and sarcoplasmic reticulum and d comprises of smooth and rough endoplasmic reticulum answer is c second transverse tubule in skeletal muscle options are a contain intracellular fluid b conduct depolarization to the muscle cell interior c better developed in thin muscle fiber and d invagination of sarcoplasmic reticulum answer is b third question depolarization of t tubule membrane activates options are a rhinodin receptors b dihydropyridine receptors c release of calcium ions and d nicotinic receptors answer is b fourth question rhinodin receptors control uptake of options are a calcium ions b sodium ions and c potassium ions answer is a calcium ions fifth why skeletal muscle is most excitable tissue here the answer is because skeletal muscle has two sarcotubular system per sarcomere therefore it is most excitable tissue this is all about sarcotubular system thank you